leopard. We've got a leopard and it's ca carrying something in its mouth. I think it's a scrub hare. Look, who have we got here? Just coming through the long grass. I think, who is this? Craig, can we take a closer look so we can just try and identify her quickly? Are you Shadow? I think it may be. Let's see. How cool is this? My goodness, I flew here and I flew just in the absolute nick of time. It was perfect. I'm going to be naughty. I totally just took a couple of pictures there because this is just too beautiful to not. And just by looking at her, not a particularly large leopard. Hello, Shadow. My dear friend, I think it is our favorite little girl. But please help me confirm, hashtag Safari Live, if you can confirm that this is Shadow. We are now going to follow her, of course. She's on Juma. We're just off Triple M. And I'm going to call the sighting in in just a moment. I just need to jump to the next channel. Let me quickly call it in. But Megan, if you get any confirmation as to which leopard this is, please let me know. But I'm I'm pretty sure that it is. This is t this is the heart of Shadow's uh, territory. Let me try and go back quickly. My goodness, Craig, did you enjoy that race here? It was perfect. Well, it was worth it, wasn't it? I think so. Especially to have this beautiful girl carrying something in her mouth. I, I got excited. I thought maybe it was a cub at first, and then I thought, oh, that's not moving around enough. Not a particularly big meal for a cat like this, but a bit of sustenance goes a long way out here. So we're just waiting for confirmation. Of course, my eyes are even watering. I drove so quickly. I didn't think we were going to find her, but um, I thought that she would have been long gone. But it seems as though the luck is definitely on our side for these last two drives. Hello, beautiful leopard. I might hear a strange noise. It's me rubbing... I'm just wiping my monitor. Now, James and Kyle, thank you for your confirmation. You have said that this is indeed Shadow. I thought so. That's why I said to you, those tracks that we had earlier around Twin Dams, I don't think that it was Shadow. I thought that was a little bit too far away for a territory. I know that the Karula is... I'm just going to keep following her. I know that Karula has... And we're not sure what's happened to her, but she's obviously not around anymore, which we are heartbroken by. But... It's just a bit too far, especially with a leopardess with a young cub to move such great distances. I'm going to jump in front of her again. And we're going to give her space. I don't want to pressure her. I want her to carry on with her day. But we're not going to drive right next to her and I'm dropping all sorts of things. Now I need to get on the game drive radio at some point too to try and let everybody know. Oh, we're going to see, a, you might see something come across your screen. Craig's just very quickly going to wipe the screen. It seems as though, well, uh, a spider web has decided to make its home on ca uh, the, cra the camera. Right, let me quickly jump on the radio. Can any stations copy me? Let me, let me quickly get hold of the guides. Can any Juma vehicles copy me or anybody driving on Vuyatela? Here we go. Hello, beautiful girl. No, no one is talking to me. Stations, I've located Mufazi Ingwe with a scrub hair bumba. She is mobile just off of Triple M, just underneath the power lines. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated, but you can get our visual from the road. It's just myself on lock. Okay, now she stopped for a little breather. Let's just watch her from over here because we're getting to a very, very thick area now. And if she goes into this drainage line, I'm worried that we lose her. And we don't want to give her any reason to move off further than she needs to. No, she just had a rest. She's picked up the scrub here again. Now, I'm sure she's taking it to her cub. Something like this she can physically take to her cub. She doesn't have to wait for her, her cub or to put it in a tree. Not that Shadow, Wendy, this now is now is not the time to play games with me and be silly. I'm going to just try and keep an eye on her. But um, we know Shadow doesn't really put her carcasses in trees. Why she doesn't do this, nobody's really certain. No one can really know for sure. So she's probably going to take that to her little one. So we'll have a scratch here. I just... 
it's so difficult to maneuver. There she is. We're going to try and keep an eye on her. Craig, you're going to have to help me with uh, trying to figure out where she goes while I maneuver uh, through the thicket. Otherwise, I'm going to drive us and roll the car. And we don't really want to do that in an area like this. So, Craig, if you can please watch where she goes, I'd be forever grateful. All right, let's see. She's going to pop out just here. There she is. Let's have another look at her before she does decide to disappear again. Very nice. Hello, beautiful. Now, please keep coming this way. No, she's going through that little spot, which is going to be disastrous. Shadow, come back. Oh, no, she's just come forward again. She's just moving in front of the car now. I'm just going to watch her. There is a little gap that we can go through. But like I said, she's got a little one. I don't want to give her any reason to dart off into the thicket, so we'll let her move about. There she goes. Just crossing the frame. There, she can just see in the top right corner. Okay, that means we can move again. Craig, are you ready? <laughs> I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to have to send you across to Ellie now. I need to do some serious off-roading, and we need to keep eyes on this leopard. So while I get a better position, jump back on board with Ellie. So I just want to make sure we give her enough space. There we go. That's quite nice now. As she goes through the open. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely amazing. What a beautiful cat. I'm being so naughty right now, I know. But I'll just say sorry later. It's just too good of a sighting. And please share us, uh, share these screenshots with all of us. Hashtag Safari Live, of course. I don't know when I saw a leopard eating anything, let alone carrying its kill in a very, very, very long time. Right, we go again through the bushes. No, I can't move that one out of the way. Wendy's a Titanic at the moment. It's so hard to drive her off road. Watch your head, you Craig. Now, I'm just going underneath a big pelter forum here, just dropping the aerial. There we go. Now, Geeky, you're wondering, um, because it's such a small meal, is it for the cub only? I, I don't think just the cub. I think, um, I was going to say Trongile. I think Shadow is going to partake in devouring this um, small scrub here. I'm sure she'll eat some of it. Uh, it's very important that she eats as well, because if she isn't constantly feasting, even if it is just a small little treat, uh, then she's not going to have enough energy to potentially go out and catch something else. So like I said, she, uh, it might not be the greatest of great meals. However, it is a little bit better than not eating anything. So this won't really be a meal. So I'm just going to try and... No, I'm just trying to call it in on the radio, but it seems as everybody else is busy with all sorts of other things this morning. And had anybody running to come to the sighting, which is great. I'll spend the entire morning with it. Now there's, I've just spotted a Daker or a Steenbok just up ahead of her. She also looked at it. I, d I can't tell you what it is just yet. I can just see it behind the trees. Now, what could happen here, you can see she had a look at her tail. She could drop it and she can try and restalk it, but I think the little antelope. I'm just going to wait to see what she does. Cause she's walking straight towards it. I think it is going to, it has spotted her and is going to bolt away, yes. Okay, let's go, it's seen her. It's actually coming a little bit closer and that's not uncommon for antelope to do such things, to get a better view of what could be walking through the long grass. All right, I'm not losing this leopard today. Bye, Steenbok. It was a little Steenbok that we went, went past. I'm just gonna go under another wattle. And now there's Impala alarming. Hello, Impala Ram. Yes, you've seen the leopard. Thank you very much, but we found her first without your help. I'm going to go all the way around. Whee! This is so much fun! So she's just going over there. You're welcome to watch her as we move through the grass. But like I said, I'm going to go the scenic route. How cool is that? Look how she just disappears into that golden grass. There's actually a leopard walking there. Can you believe it? You might just see the tips of the grass moving around. She's still going. Where are you leading us to? This is awesome. 
There she goes, just popping out. But we have to maneuver around again. Okay, and go through this way. Now, I'm just gonna go that side, but I'm gonna go all the way around again. Now, Francis from Israel, as we try and get a better view of this beautiful leopard, you're wondering why doesn't she eat it now? I, I think it's because she's taking it to a cub. She has got a cub. I have not seen her little cub at all. And I don't even, I couldn't even tell you how old it is. I'm so sad. I, I've been waiting for so long. I normally don't have much luck with seeing the cats when they are really, really young. But I have had some great sightings. So I think she's taking it to her cub. Normally, like I said, what she'd do if it was something bigger, she would have um, killed it and then she would hide it away, maybe even have fed on it just a little bit. And, and then she will go and fetch her cub and bring her cub to the kill. But that's not necessary. That is not needed here because there is, it is a very light, small meal and she's able to mo move it around quite easy. Here she is. Might have to just be quite quick because she's going to be coming through some of these gaps. She's coming straight towards us. There she goes just behind the car again. This is beautiful. Now, Megan, please may I have that name again? Did you say Lauren from Illinois? Yeah, I don't, it could be Lauren or Lawrence. I'm so sorry. I'm not 100% sure what the, the name is. But you're wondering, is her cub still suckling? Yes, most certainly it will be. And um, that's why it is so important that she keeps eating so she can keep producing milk. But the cub will be feeding on a combination of things now, uh, as well as that scrub hair, which I'm sure she's taking there, and also feeding on milk. Right, I'm going to go back again. Reverse here. Yeah, obviously, it's quite difficult because we're doing loads and loads of maneuvering. Right, off roading 101. All right, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to keep trying to find a spot and keep jumping ahead of this leopard. But I'm going to send you back across to Ali, who unfortunately is not having.